Okay, so thanks for picking this back up. We're finishing up 3-5 here. So one more time, I just kind of want to reiterate that this equation for your point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so what am I subtracting here? I am subtracting a positive 1 for my x. What am I subtracting here? I'm subtracting a negative 3 for my y. All right, so it's important that you realize that when we are in a uh, point slope form, that it's um, going to be the opposite sign of what it looks like for your actual point. So here's where we're going to go. Since we're in point slope, we're going to start at the point 1, negative 3 right here. Then I have a slope of negative 2 which means I can do one of two things. I can go down two and a positive right one, or I can go a positive up two or a negative right one. So one of your directions must be negative. All right, so we connect those points and we graph our line. Please make sure that I have seen in the past where people graph those three points and then they just draw like a segment, I'll pretend that that connected them. They just draw a segment that connects those three points. That's not graphing a line, guys. Make sure you're extending that line and putting the arrows on either end, okay? Then we, let's look at C. We have X equals three. That means every X value on this line is going to be three. So I could do three, zero. I could do three, three. I could do three, negative three. I could do negative three, negative six. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm putting negatives here, guys. These should be positives. Pardon me. Ignore me. This would be three, three. Okay. I was writing it different than what I was thinking. So all of these X values are three. So I'm going to go over three zero over three up three over three down three okay so hopefully you're seeing here that all of these x values are three so that means that i have a vertical line so remember back in that earlier slide your vertical lines are x equals your horizontal lines are y equals all right so thanks for taking the next the last like couple of minutes here um, write down any questions that you might have at all on anything, and that way you can ask them in class. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.